user, welcome back to our channel. This is Madoka from Shining 3D. Recently, it seems that some of our customers are having difficulties in scanning hair. So we are gonna deliver a video to help you with that. In this video, we are gonna cover some tricks and tips on scanning some common hairstyles. So let's get it started. Unscan Edge is a scanner developed by Shining 3D dedicated to scanning the human body. It has two unique scan modes, which are body scan and face scan mode. This time, we're gonna use face scan mode, which is with an infrared light source, able to capture fine details of every hair wisp. In this case, you can just go for your scan without any effort. For sure, you can get a decent result even by choosing the body scan mode. So we borrow some clips from our colleagues and you can click on the top right corner for the full video. A well-tightened bound without any slip of hair is ideal for scanning because it's pretty much fixed and no moving at all. You could also go scan down pretty smoothly. The rule of thumb for having good hair data is that Hair needs to be dense and have less movement, not spiky or messy. In other words, tighten your hair with a tool and make a smooth surface of your hair. The best light condition for decent texture data is with multiple light sources and mainly white lights. Even without lights on, the LED lights could also provide a pretty good light condition for your scanning. One important thing is that when scanning with texture, white balance has to be recalibrated if there is any changes in environmental light. By scanning face completely in the first step and keep your work within one goal, it will prevent you from misalignment because staying in the same facial expressions for too long will be hard for the model to hold it. While face scanning, we could also capture some areas of your front facing hair capture the face side to side. Then go down below to pick up the jaw. After that, your model can relax his or her face. The scanner moves a little further to scan the chest, the back, the shoulder, as well by walking around your model. The data of back and the shoulder will provide a better alignment to scan the hair. Here we have a tip is that we could adjust the brightness to a higher level to capture more data of your hair. This is suitable for darker hair. Then just go through the rest of your body and speed up the process as possible as you can. Here we also got a pretty complete data of your hair. Move on to your next step. Here we got a function called 3 to 1 movement, which allows you to align your data into a coordinate system. So if you want to know the detail about this function, please click on the link popped up on the top right corner. Straight hair is also suitable for scanning. No mess or tiny vacancy bother you scanning the hair. The data of hair have been captured pretty much. You can go to generate your print cards. Then do the mesh by water tie. It will provide you a reasonable result without any holes left in your data. 
To be honest, it is difficult to scan a cold and fluffy hair. Many tiny gaps inside the hair cause issues for capturing data. You could just well rest your hair around your shoulder or change with any hairstyle you fancy that has less movement. The data of hair have been captured pretty much. You can move on to generate your point clouds, then do the mesh by water type. It will provide you a reasonable result without any holes left on your data. The ponytail swings too easily, and it does likely to cause misalignment, requiring the model to stay more stately, avoiding hair movement with the best try as well. And the end of the tail is spiky so it is difficult to capture. And by the way, the solution is just the same with the curly hairstyle. Except for the end of the tail, almost all data of hair have been captured. Data are hard to capture and with low quality, too much gap between hair strips. Put on some hair wax to make a relatively smooth surface for your scanning. To sum up, a decent hair scanning result depends on three points. First, well set your hair into a solid condition without mass, gap, and spike, which can provide a smooth surface for your scanning. Second, the best light condition for decent texture data is with multiple light source and mainly white lights. Third, a correct scanning workflow just as we illustrated to you in this video. It was like face to hair to the rest of the body. For hair hard to scan, you can scan the shoulder and use the shoulder to align when scanning hair. Thanks for watching today's video and I hope you will like it. We will keep on delivering helpful videos for INCN users. Please consider subscribe, like and share. See you next time.